talked about my brother buying her a house. A real sentimental moment. People in the chat room were acknowledging. People were calling and texting me saying, man, Stu, this is a real tearjerk of a conversation y'all having. And then right in the middle of it, like Nakasaki, like Hiroshima, Thorny just throws in casually in the chat, in which I absolutely I, I happen to read. Uh, don't let this sentimental moment deter from the fact that the Atlanta Falcons gave up a 25-point lead in the Super Bowl. Was that necessary? Seriously. Seriously, was that necessary? Uh, Like we used to say back in the day, you're running out. You're running out, man. I mean, damn, that wasn't even necessary. Derek, I won't lie. Thorny's comedic timing on her Falcons post was impeccable, laughing my ass off. No, it wasn't. From Clay's last $2, Davis, too bad Thorny never mentioned that the Falcons swept the Saints' ass. Exactly. How about that? <laughs> now, to be honest, though, Clay, these last $2, Davis, to be honest with you, man, um, beating the Saints twice in a year, will never trump giving up a 25-point lead in the Super Bowl to the New England Patriots. <laughs> I just got to keep it real. Uh, I, I just got to keep it real, man. I mean, wow. <laughs> Not a 25-point lead in the first quarter, you know, where there's three quarters left to play. Not a 25-point lead just in the second quarter. But you're talking like four or five minutes into the third quarter. The Falcons were up by 25 points and found a way to lose. I wish that maybe, maybe I should have thought about this, man. Maybe if, I, I wish there was a way we could give like, like cold ball penis awards. Like, yeah, I guess Stephen A. probably deserves it. A lot of y'all probably going to vote for Stephen A. Um, the orange dude deserves it every single week. Hell, Sidney Jackson and Vince Wright deserve it. But Thorny definitely deserves it for that. I mean, that was low. That, that was low. And the timing was, was horrible. I, I actually, I disagree. The timing wasn't impeccable. The timing was horrible. From Grego, Falcons may have swept the Saints, but they still... Ended the season in the same way as the Saints, not winning the Super Bowl. Uh, from Jam from Snellville. Doug, I think Thorny was trying to stop the reminiscing because I think she didn't want to be sad thinking about her grandmother. I hope that's what she was doing. If not, oh, you think maybe that has something to do with it? I think Thorny just lost her grandmother recently. If that's the case, uh, I, I understand. But you could have done it a different way. Did you have to... You didn't have to involve the Falcons' loss in the Super Bowl in this thing. You could have found some other way to, to change the subject. That, that, was, that was too much. Uh, from Clay, these last $2, Davis, don't worry. Thorny will be pissed off when UGA finds a way to lose to Florida again this fall. <laughs> right. World's greatest, biggest cocktail party game. From Norman, download my app, Carter. Yeah, doing some extra work in the field. Um, from Sydney Jackson, you deserve these hands, sir. I don't even know what he's talking about. Sydney Jackson's been on some type of crack binge all week long. I don't even know what that means. Is, is he talking to somebody in the chat room? From Clay, these last $2, Davis, Grego, you right. We can talk about Bama losing then. Um, from the OK Sigma, Thorny getting leftover ball penis. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, from Grego, uh, or for Brian Hill, we already read Grego's message. Uh, Brian Hill says, somebody call him and tell him to stop. Uh, from Norman, uh, download my app card. Yeah, doing some extra work in the field. From Redland Kirk, well, Doug, Atlanta did blow a 25-point lead. They had Dark Vader 
and the dark side dead to rights and blew it. Yo, I'm not denying they didn't blow it, sir. I'm just saying the timing of that comment yesterday was ill-advised to say the least. You know, and Thorny's a classy person. I expect a whole lot more from her than that. From White Ball, Texas tie. Wait, Falcons lost. They were up 28 to three. That had to be a ball game. Y'all are funny. No way Falcons blew it to an 8-3 to lead. Ah, uh, boy. From Duncan and Dodge and Tiffany, Schlereth compared Kaepernick's situation to Ray Rice's as far as why he hasn't been signed yet. Right. I didn't even know about this story. Maybe that happened recently. Maybe that happened today or yesterday or something like that with Mark Schlereth comparing why Colin Kaepernick getting being signed or hadn't been signed yet in comparison to Ray Rice and, and uh, uh, abuse. Um, from uh, who do we have here? You're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. From Miss Mocha Bella. Hey, Mocha. Let it go, Doug, on Thorny. Uh, she's nominated. She is nominated. I love her to death. Love her like a little sister, but she is nominated. <laughs> I just do the will of the people, man. Um, from uh, T Dub, he says chilling. What up, T Dub? Uh, T Dub, yesterday he never replied to a comment. We we're having a little discussion on Facebook, uh, at least before the show. He didn't reply. Like we were talking about this law that's passed in Arkansas, and how you be able to carry weapons into sporting events. In particular, we were talking about Arkansas Razorback football games and how. Um, I believe uh, that carrying concealed weapons a lot of times could start stop a lot of these these senseless stereotype crazy maniacal killings like we've had at schools over the last couple of years. And T Dub, he's not the only person that disagrees. Uh, T Dub disagrees. He, he doesn't feel like the teachers should have weapons. Um, I disagree. I disagree on that. Maybe not at a football game with a bunch of drunk people that have been drinking all morning. But in some of these situations, man, in public places, uh, I feel like that if, if someone had a weapon and could return fire, then a lot of lives would be saved. I do. I believe that. From White Ballers, Texas Tide, Thorny and Vince are walking away clean. Yeah, it's tragic. In a week that one of them surely would have won. Surely. Thorny would have won. Vince Wright may have won. And to a lesser degree, uh, Sidney Jackson may have won as well. <laughs> Stephen A. takes a picture with the most documented, coonish person probably walking the face of this earth. And the bad thing about the Clark Sheriff dude, man, is he's in a position of authority. Think about that now. Think about that. With everything that's happened in this country over the last couple of years, man, um, with the senseless killing of young black males, unarmed black males, a guy that runs a sheriff department got those types of views about these social injustice cases? Really? He's in charge. He can inflict his will upon his constituents, the people inside whatever county or, 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 or whatever jurisdiction that he's in. Really? And then the bad part about it is it wasn't even like, oh, Lee, man, Stephen A. Smith was smiling like a chessy cat. <laughs> You got you got Stephen A. Smith smiling like a chessy cat with this David Clark guy from Slide the Sports Guy. You got teachers boning students that they like, just like what will happen to the students. They don't like it if they have guns. Uh, from Rail by My Ty Scott, Stephen Stephen is a Jew. I mean a Q. Can a person be kicked out of the frat? <laughs> oh, cats get kicked out of the fraternity all the time. So Stephen A. Smith uh, is is uh, is a, is a member, <laughs> right? He's a member of uh, my fraternity, the Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated, and uh, yeah, cats get kicked out of fraternities all the time. Now it's just in 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 I guess uh, 
the administrative part of it because, like I've always said, if, if you tell somebody that they not in the frat anymore, what does that really mean as far as uh, their information and knowledge, the history that they know, um, the brand that they have a lot of times marked on their bodies? I mean, that's just in, in words. You're you always going to be a, a Q if you're a Q. From Duncan and Dodger, Stephen A. Smith shot, smiling with Sheriff Coon. Steve Carvey making sure black people respect Trump. Bad pub for the uh, for the cues. Hey man, we don't uh, family don't always get along perfectly. Period. Uh, yeah, simple as that. Family don't always get along perfectly, and you may mention these two guys here, Steve Harvey and Stephen A. Smith. I talk about the I don't know thirty five thousand other great cues that ever walked this this grounds in America. How about that? Huh? How about that? For every Steve Harvey or for every Stephen A. Smith, I'll give you Ernest E. Just. So I'll give you Jesse Jackson. I mean, just so come on with that, bro. I mean, don't play that with me. From Sidney Jackson, can you pull the skin off that brand and leave the white meat? Nah, that would be painful. That would be painful. That would be painful. Yeah, yeah, that would be painful. Um, from Tiffany Pool in Portland, can y'all have a a coon intervention with him, Mrs. Stewart? <laughs> They all have a coon intervention, a coon intervention. And listen, first of all, for the record, let me just make sure I put this out there. I haven't called Stephen A. Smith a coon. As a matter of fact, when I posted the picture, I didn't make a comment. I just posted the picture. I mean, you got to be in, you got to be like a bona fide, there's no questions asked coon for me to put you in the coon category. Like... Like Jason Whitlock, David Clark, cats like that. I mean, at the highest form, the highest level of coonery. Yeah, yeah, before I call you a coon. All right, when we get back from the break, man, a little entertainment talk. And we got to talk about JT3 out in Georgetown. We'll get to that up next on the Doug Stewart Show. Oh, oh, oh. 